Greetings, I'm Scrap, and this is the sixth and final part of the Tokyo Marui VZ61 Scorpion AEP HPA Kits installation guide. In the previous part, the HPA system and the lower assembly was finished. In this one, the hop-up unit with the upper receiver will take their part and the entire replica assembly will be completed. Once again, the air hop modification is not necessary, but with the heavy babies it improves the replica's performance. If you want to use lighter babies, use the classic AEP buckings like the original Marui or the aftermarket ones. I will use this 182mm long tight bore PDI barrel as an upgrade replacement. This angled hop window cut supports the air hop patch and prevents the over hop issues. So place the air hop patch there. This one is from the Elvish Tech. Put on the Marui backing, which in this case was modified to be flat hop. Be sure these centering bumps, this one and this one are matching with the barrel centering groove at the top. As a help, you can use this casting burr at the top, but this works only at the Marui backings. On the other ones, this burr may be somewhere else. Push it into the hop chamber. Align it. Do not forget on these Marui AEP barrels, unlike at the SEMA or at the AEGs, the groove is at the top. Place the hop-up nub into the hop-up arm. You can use some HPA grease to glue it there. That's enough. This one is the Stalker CNC Tiger nub, but the Maple Leaves Omega nub may work as well. Place them to the hop chamber. And push in its pin. Slide on the barrel centering ring. By unscrewing these two screws, disassembly the TDC from the dust cover mod. Be cautious, there are small nuts in the TDC part. Push the TDC part on 
the hop chamber. And the dust cover as well. With something what fits in. Support the nuts and tighten the screws. Slide in the centering plate. With a two and a half millimeter hex key, screw in or entirely out the TDC adjustment screw so it could fit into the upper receiver. That would be enough. And the patch is in center. I hope you can see it. Okay. Pull on the barrel spring. I disassembled the upper receiver to show you how it looks like and what have to expect from the Marui Mod D and mod M. As you can see, the upper receiver is similar to the classic model, just without the iron sides. It is manufactured from a well-made but thin plastic ABS. The outer barrel and this black part are metal and the dust cover plate as well. The rails, this one and this one, as well the back one, are made from the ABS and this back one is held there by two screws, these small ones. The hand guard is held there by this 3 mm metric countersunk screw and the body pin. Therefore, I do not recommend to mount anything heavy on them, just a mini red dot with a backup iron sight and the flashlight if you prefer those. On the mine one, I use this custom finger stop with a QD sling attachment like this with a second finger stop from the Scorpion Evo as a casual foregrip. Do not forget in folded state the stock works as a foregrip as well. Up to me, having another full-scale one is a contraproductive. Let's restore to its original state. So, screwing the screws.
slide in the hop-up unit and the inner barrel assembly to the upper receiver. Push back the dust cover plate and slide in the lower assembly. Press them into each other. You should probably have to squeeze the end corners of the upper receiver. Push in the body pin and tighten its socket set screws. And now pre-adjust the TDC's hop adjustment screw. So I tighten a bit, so I have to lose it a bit. Close the dust cover. Okay. And with that, the HPA version of the VZ61 Scorpion is ready to use. I hope this guide was understandable and useful. If you have any questions, contact me through scrabermory at gmail.com. Thank you for tuning in. Take care of yourself. Bye.